and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Michelle, and today I'm going to be answering your questions about my Connie Corso. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video if you'd like to see more videos like this. We have a lot of things planned for this channel in the future, so yeah, let's get started. So the first question we had was, how did you train him to hit the bell? So for those of you who don't know, we train Dante to go outside by hitting the bell. So he lets us know that he needs to go to the bathroom. Um, the first thing that we did is made him comfortable with the bell. So anytime that he would touch the bell, even if it was by accident, we'd give him cheese. We'd also try to lure him to the bell a little bit with the cheese. And in the end, we made him very, very comfortable with the bell and we made him associate the bell with something good, the cheese. Later, we started to incorporate the going outside part. And what we would do for that, once Dante was really good with just touching the bell, we would make him touch the bell, open the door, and we would give him the cheese outside. And that way, he started to associate, oh, so if I ring the bell, I go outside and I get cheese. And then later we kind of wean him off the cheese and he learned how to go outside by ringing the bell. So yeah, that's how we taught him. So the second question we had was, is keeping a tiny corso in an apartment a bad idea? For me personally, I would not do that because of a couple of things. They're very large dogs. They take up a lot of space. If you're in an apartment, it's not a house that you own. So if there are any accidents while he's potty training or anything of that nature, it's not your house. So I would not recommend having a Corso in an apartment. However, it is doable. So if you crate train them and you set certain ground rules so they can't run around the house or the apartment because there are other people living around there, it's doable. But for me personally, I wouldn't recommend it. All right, so the next question we have was, what do you feed your kind of corso? I have two myself and was wondering what other people feed their dogs. So because Dante has epilepsy, we started feeding him a raw diet. We worked with his vet to make sure that he was getting the correct meal plan and all of his nutrients. So his diet consists of muscle meat, uh, organ meat, uh, fish oil. We do put in any supplement that he needs with fish oil, throw in some veggies in there, and bones. Yes, bones. It's okay for dogs to have raw bones. It's not okay for dogs to have cooked bones. We get a lot of people um, commenting when they see Dante eat bones because they get concerned thinking that it's something bad, but it's not. Raw bones are fine. Cooked bones are bad. Um, so he, we try to make sure that his diet is high in protein because we want to keep his sugar levels low to prevent any seizures from happening. So the next question we have is, where did you get him? I've always wanted an Italian Mastiff. We've answered this question so many times, we've put it in the link in our description, answered it in comments. We got Dante on Amazon, it was next day delivery, on Prime, they left him in our mailbox, super great, don't have any complaints. <laughs> on a serious note, we got Dante from Worldwide Honey Corso, um, the breeder is called Jen, she is absolutely great, she followed up with Dante even until now actually. And the first day that we got him, she was super responsive. Today, she's super responsive. Great breeder, totally recommend her. I will leave her Facebook page on, on the link in the description below so you guys can go check it out. All right, so next question is, gorgeous dog, where can I find a collar like that? First of all, thank you very much. And the collar that he has is in a link in the description below, along with the leash that we have for him that we like very much. Um, and it has a coupon code for 20% off. I think it's Dante 20 You guys can check that all out in the link in the description. All right, so next question is, what breed is Leroy? And for those of you who don't know, Leroy is Dante's best friend. He is an English Springer Spaniel. So the next question is, did you train your dog yourself or did you take him somewhere to be trained and would a dog like this do well with an 11 pound chihuahua? So for Dante, we were able to teach him the very, very basic things ourselves, but we did have to reach out to a professional trainer when it came to certain things about his behavior. For example, we noticed that he was getting way too overprotective around strangers and that's when we needed the help of a professional trainer. Um, in regards to them around smaller dogs, 
I can speak for Dante, he is very, very, very gentle. I actually had an 11 pound poodle before we got Dante and he was absolutely great with him. Um, they are very, very, they have a very gentle nature and you can really take advantage of that and reinforce that um, when they are with the smaller dogs. So for example, with Dante, we made sure that he would remain calm um, and not to run around or you know play too rough with the dog. Our concern was more, um, we, we didn't want him to sit on the other dog or bump into him because he's way bigger. So it's just a matter of, you know, reinforcing that gentle, gentle nature that they already have and always, always supervising them. And the last question, unfortunately, is, hey, I love your videos. I'm thinking about getting a tiny corso. Can you tell me what I should know about the breed? So I actually have a video all about that in detail, super, super chatty, about what my experience was with a dog like this. But if I could boil it all down, is you have to be um, very perseverant, very firm, uh, and consistent with your training. They're great family dogs, they'll love you to death, but their behavior reflects a lot on you. So, that is something you should keep in mind. <laughs> okay, so that marks the end of our video. I'm actually sad because I had a lot of fun answering these questions. But um, thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this so you can get the notification. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post way more things about Dante there. Um, so if you guys are interested in seeing what it is to really live with a tiny corso, um, you guys can follow me there. And in there, he's obviously less scripted. He's more natural in his habitat. So <laughs> um, if you guys want, you guys can follow me there. And we're trying really hard to stay on a good schedule for you guys so we can post the video at least once a week. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Say bye, Dante.